e-commerce version 17 let's get started uh, we will see one by one every feature first one is product description in version 16 only we can define uh, self description but in version 17 uh, we can define detailed description on product page let's see here i have defined the sort description it is visible here now in version 17 same description is defined here additionally uh, we can add a detailed description here I will use the chat GPT feature. I will select the description and paste it here. Uh, we will see about the product variants. In version 16, uh, we only have option to select a color, but in version 17, we can also add image for a particular variant let's see here I have attached an image for this variants Here we can see the, the those pictures, but in version 16, we only have option to add colors. Next is product text. In version 16, uh, we are not able to show a text uh, uh, or image for a product text, but in version 17, it is possible. We can add an image and color. This is image and this is a text. For this product templates. Next is product prices. Generally, we set a product prices according to the customer base. If the customer is a B2C, then we will define product prices as uh, tax included. But for a B2B client, we generally ex exclude the tax. So in version 16, what was the problem? So let's see. Now this is a B2B website and I am opening a shop and here you can see the table price is 105 rupees in configuration I have said tax included now when I go to settings and select a B2C website and I select a tax accumulated here you can see 
the B2B price is 100 rupees and for the B2C website price is same but in version 17 I can set a product prices according to my website now for B2B I have selected tax excluded and for B2C I have selected tax included so let's see how it shows in website for this particular item the price is 100 rupees for B2B website and for B2C website the price is 105 rupees for the same product next uh, we will look after other features in e commerce first one is cart pop up in version 16 when a client select a product and if i click on add to cart there is no pop up uh, for the add to cart button but in version 17 when I click on add to cart one pop-up is uh, visible which will be for a few seconds another is checkout UI in mobile so user interface in mobile has changed so in version 16 When I see the products in mobile view, let's select one product and I click on add to cart. So it is very simple UI, but in version 17, Now I will add to cart. Here you can see the status of the order. Here we can also see what steps are uh, remaining and we can have an image of the product which are selected in the cart next one is dynamic amount so in version 16 let's say uh, I go to the cart and I increase the quantity to 2 but the so basically only the price is showing so the rate of the product is showing but in version 17 when I go to the cart and if I increase the product quantity then the amount is also increased so the rate is replaced by the total amount of the orders if I decrease the amount will also decrease so it's a dynamic amount next one is add billing address so in version 16 we are not able to add billing address let's see I click on edit so here there is no option to add a billing address only we can just edit it 
if you want. But in version 17, we can add billing address by clicking here. We can also set uh, as a sh shipping address if we click on here. Next one is whenever I create a product from website. So in version 16, the status of the product is unpublished, but in version 17, when I create a product from website, it automatically gets published. Now let's create a new product. Here we can see the default status is unpublished. We have to publish it manually in version 16. Now let's create a product in version 17. Here we can also define a sales price and customer taxes. Here we can see auto, it automatically gets published. Now the next one is multi checkbox. So in version 16 it is not available but in version 17 it is available. So how it works let's see. Here uh, we don't have an option for multi checkbox. Here we have an option of multi checkbox. So we can add a different values. Let's say I have a table top, top, top class flower pot and I have defined a price for them. So here I have option to select and my price will be the amount of the uh, order will be increased. But in version 16, this is not possible. Now the last is product documents. Now we can attach a product document for a particular product. In version 16 we don't have any option to add a document. Here in version 17 we can add document. Let's say uh, we are adding a document. We can click on show on product page so it can be visible on product page here we have option for visibility if I select a quotation then it will be shown by default whenever the customer is opening up a product let's see
here you can see a document is visible customer can download it from here 